Today on 3D Outdoors, we're going to teach you how to build your very own battery power box right after this. Alright, the first step in building this power box is figuring out what you all want on the power box and the components that you're going to need for it. I've seen some online, they're like $100, $150 without the battery and they got power posts on the top where you can twist on wires and there's LED lights and, and I don't know, horns, bells, whistles, everything. And I just didn't think I needed all that. I needed to be able to plug in USB devices so that I could run lights inside the ice shack, GoPros on the boat, charge my phone, things of that nature. So a voltage meter, an on off switch, that USB plug, and then this kit happened to come with an additional 12 volt marine plug in you know, the old days we would have called this a cigarette lighter plug, but you can still get plug-ins for that that'll have a couple more USBs on it. So that would give more opportunity for more plug-ins. I needed a box large enough to fit that. So this box happens to be long enough. I think I picked this up at Harbor Freight possibly on sale for five bucks. Then this particular strip I picked up online at a large retailer. I won't name them because I don't have affiliate links for them. So you can search around and find what you want to use. Obviously you may want other things. But this is the one that I happen to pick. And then you're going to want to pick the battery. Now I picked the Amped Outdoors 12 amp hour battery. This will actually run my ice fishing Vexilar FL28. FL28 for 49 hours so I think that'll run a GoPro some LED lights and charge my phone if I need to so that's what I went with this is a lithium ion phosphate battery obviously very lightweight that's going to make this easier to carry around than a lead acid battery the next step is to figure out your placement and I think I'm just going to kind of center this right on here I'm going to take a black marker and just create my circles because on the gray it'll show up. And then I'm going to take my Dremel and cut those holes out. Now you could use a drill and then a knife. There's several different ways you could cut these holes out, but this is the way I'm going to do it. I'm going to get these drawn out, cut out, and then I'll be back. All right, finishing up this Link Style 4-in-1 Marine Switch Panel power unit here in the box and it ended up being a little bit more than I expected so I cut out all the stuff in between we're going to jump to the end and I'm going to tell you how I did this so that you can do it as well so we cut the holes in the side put the panel in I still have to put the four screws in but once you clamp down the nuts on the back side it's in there so the screws are, are set purely secondary I wrap foam around my battery and put a piece of foam in the end that way it doesn't bounce around but what you're going to want to know is how did you wire this up because when you get this thing it has wires with eyelets on them on one end well if you're hooking to a battery like this you're not going to be hooking to eyelets so you end up cutting all of that out and what I did is I daisy chained all of the grounds together and hooked it to the ground cable on the battery. Then I daisy chained all of the powers together and hooked it to the center terminal on the switch. And the reason that is is when you turn the switch on the power comes out this wire and feeds this whole daisy chain loop to these other three units. The power to your USBs, the cigarette lighter, and your voltage meter. Each one of these have a power, a plus and negative marked on them, so it's pretty simple. You plug the red into the positive, the black into the negative, 
and hook them all together. So if you daisy chain all those together and run the black back to ground and the positive to your center, you're set. The only variable will be which end of this switch is the hot. I ended up having to switch them around. I had them backwards to begin with. So if you don't get a blue light right away, switch those two wires around and you'll probably have it just fine. Mine ended up being black, red, red. You can see in the order there to what the switch is on the side here. Now when I flip the switch on, you can see it comes up 14.4 volts. It reads the voltage. And if I plug anything in, I have power on these. And now all I need to do is close up the box. And I've got a neat little power box that's going to last all day, all weekend probably, to feed my cell phones and my GoPro cameras. So there you go. There's how to build your own power box for about 25 bucks really and then you just have to add the battery of your choice this is dan with 3d outdoors reminding you to get into the outdoors and enjoy everything it has to offer if you like this video make sure to hit the subscribe button down below and follow us over at 3d-outdoors.com see you next time